credit card mistake that can screw up your mortgage even after you bought the house. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode at Nova Vice Invest, your channel for financial education. Today's episode was created in response to a comment from one of our subscribers. She left us a message asking why did her mortgage payment increase? She thought that once she locked an array that all her mortgage payments should remain the same for the next 30 years. And recently she found a surprise when she was looking at her mortgage statement and didn't realize that it has gone up and she was asking why. So without further ado, let's get started to answer your question. So before we proceed, I want to level the playing field. So I decided to download a sample mortgage statement uh, just to give you an overview of what you should be looking for um, whenever you receive one and it will help you better understand what I'm about to share with you. So here's a simple copy from uh, Lending Tree. nothing special. You got the loan number, you got when it's due, right? You have to make your mortgage payments on time, of course, and the amount that is due. And what I really want you to pay attention is this section right here. Granted, all mortgage statements will look different than this one. However, they will always contain a section showing you the payment breakdown. So you're going to look for the mortgage payment pay down in your statement. And I want you to pay attention to this section right here. So as you can see, the mortgage payment is 1,669 over here. And when you look at this, you will see that there's a breakdown of where your money is allocated. So out of the 1,669 and 71 cents, 384 and 93 dollars is going towards the principal. A whooping 1,049 and 60 cents is going towards interest. And there's a section here that the bank has um, assigned to something that is called escrow and the escrow will include your taxes and your insurance. Okay. So keep that in mind. And what we're going to do, we're going to move on to our tablet. So I could just break down the possible reasons why your mortgage payment went up. So once again, just so we can be on the same page. So we got the principal right here at 384.93. That was the amount we saw on the sample statement. Now we got interest and that's 1,049 and 60 cents. Then we have escrow, which is made out of taxes and insurance. Okay. And that added up to be 235 and 18 cents, all adding up to 1,669 and 71 cents. So again, why did your mortgage went up in price? So I have three theories. The first one is that you sign up for a mortgage with a variable rate. And what that means is that after a certain fixed period, it's going to reset and your interest rate will be adjusted according to what's happening in the market. So let's say, for example, you have a mortgage that is 30 years, right? And your mortgage could say something like it will be fixed for the first five years or something like that. And then after that, it's going to be variable according to what's happening in the market. So let's say, for example, you originally locked on your mortgage at, um, I don't know, 3%, right? You close your property in 2020, you got an excellent rate. So you're going to have that for the next five years. Now, once you get to 2025, that becomes a question mark. You don't know how much interest rates it's going to be. But let's assume that, I don't know, inflation keeps going up given everything that's going on. And now the new rate will be 7% in the market. So that means that after that five year period, that locked in period by 2025, your new mortgage rate will be 7%. And then depending on the terms of your mortgage, sometimes it gets adjusted every six months. Sometimes it could get adjusted in another three years or so. The point is that eventually it will change. So for illustration purposes, let's just assume that you're locked in this rate for another five years, right? So five years gone by and then 2030 hit and now the rates are low. So that means your new mortgage is going to get adjusted down to, I don't know, whatever is on the market, let's say hypothetically another 4%. And that's how things will continue to adjust 
over time. So that's the number one reason. Now, I want to take a moment to remind you that if you like this episode, feel free to hit the like button right here below so you can help this episode rank and help others like you looking for information of this kind. And if you happen to know somebody who will find this information useful, feel free to share the love and send this episode their way so you can help change their lives for the better. Back to the episode. The second reason why your mortgage could have gone up is because of your property taxes, right? Because I'm sure you've seen lately property prices have been going up over the past two years, given the stimulus, given the demand and everything that has been happening in the market. So chances are your property could have gone up in value. So let's say, for example, if you originally bought your property at 200,000, And then a couple of years down the road, now in 2022, now your property is worth 250,000. Guess what? Taxes are actually calculated based on the value of your property. So if your property went up to 250,000, now you know why, because your property value went up. So that means you have to pay more money in taxes. Now, the way it works with property taxes is that before they even raise your property taxes, the county typically sends you um, a notice, so to speak. And usually the title says, this is not a bill. This is a notification uh, telling you that they plan on raising your property taxes to a next amount. And if you don't agree with it, you can always call them and try to negotiate the property taxes down. For those who are actually interested in learning how to, here's an episode that you're seeing here on the screen that you can check out to learn how to do that. But check it out after you're done with this current video. Now, back to the presentation. And the third reason why your mortgage payment could have gone up has to do with your credit, which directly impact your insurance rate. So most people tend to believe that once you bought your insurance, that you're actually locked into your rate, but things don't work that way. The way it works with the insurance is that every year you have to renew your current policy. And at renewal, what the insurance company do is that they perform a soft pull on your credit. So let's say for example, by the time you bought the house, your FICO score in 2020 was a nice 760, right? You managed to bring it down, you got a decent rate and everything went well, right? Fast forward a couple of years, you got overly excited. uh, You started doing some improvements in the house, uh, using your personal credit cards, and maybe you bought a couple of nice things to pretty up the house and make the kitchen look nice, some nice curtains for the windows and yada yada and you happen to, um, you know, bring up your credit card debt. And now your new FICO score in 2022 went all the way down to 680. So what happens with the 680 is that it's going to be reflected directly into that soft pole. Now with that, I'm not saying that you're locked in throughout the year with this rate. It's just a matter of you timing. When do you think your insurance, it's going to be renewed. Usually your insurance broker will send you a renewal a month or two in advance. So it's important to know that by the time of your renewal day, that you should start planning to improve your FICO again, so that you don't have to deal with, you know, a surprise in your soft pole and ultimately leading to a higher premium in your insurance. And like I said, you're not locked in into that rate. If for whatever reason you didn't time this right, you were not aware of this, you did not know, things are not fixed. Things will change in the following year. So now you know better for 2023 to improve your credit around the renewal date, call it a month, two, or maybe even three before, where you can actually bring up your FICO score up to a newer score, call it 780. And then by the time the insurance company performs that soft pull, you can enjoy the benefits of getting an improved insurance rate. Now, I wanna pause for a second and ask for your opinion. What do you think about what I'm sharing so far? Let me know down in the comment section below and your comment will help me get to know you better. So that way I can design a much better episode that can meet your needs in terms of what you're looking to learn. Now back to the episode. I want to take a moment and bring you back here for a second, because every time I do the breakdown of a mortgage payment, people get really shocked by looking at the interest that these banks are charging you for your mortgage payment. 
And a lot of you have asked me in the comment section, how can you pay off your mortgage faster? So for that reason, I created this episode on the side for you to check out and learn about ways to pay off your mortgage as fast as possible. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.